So we're gonna put a, a horizon line way up high this time. Um, okay, so we've got our frame of reference. One thing um, in our last video about uh, about the application of inclined planes is we were drawing uh, an A-frame profile of a house, which if you were to look at uh, look at the side of the house directly, we would have uh, a nice rectangular shape uh, with a triangle on top of it. Okay, and I think there's something um, interesting about understanding the form in that way, and that you're um, projecting uh, this form, but you're just looking at it sideways. All right. So it's important to understand uh, the form completely. I think what, when, you, when we go out to do some uh, on-location stuff, it's really nice to uh, look at all angles um, so you really understand the forms that you're trying to create. Okay, so this is the introduction to the grid, um, and we're gonna do. Um, I think we're gonna start with a with a miniature grid in one point perspective, um, and then we're gonna do a two point perspective grid, probably using that same vanishing point. Now, the grid's really useful because you can take uh, any object that's in your head or any object that you see. Um, uh, basically draw its footprint with this grid and then project it upwards without even really uh, having to look at it necessarily. So we're going to find our centers. Okay, and uh, your grid can be as detailed or uh, as not detailed as you want. Um, and we're going to do both our our uh, horizontal and vertical centers. So we're just going to try to keep these uh, these lines parallel. The more careful you are setting up your grid, the better off you're going to be. You'll probably want to do this in pencil and erase all your all your construction lines, or do it real lightly. Um, but for the sake of clarity, I'm going to do this in pen. It's going to look pretty crowded and insane. All right. Okay, so what I'm doing is just subdividing the grid, and I'm going to subdivide it in, uh, in two directions. Okay, do you see this grid kind of coming out? Alright, I'm going to subdivide this one more time. And what you'll notice is that these are mathematical subdivisions, the quarters, and then these are exponential subdivisions based on, uh, based on our X method, drawing from corner to corner. Okay. All right. So this is a, uh, a four by four grid um, with 16 blocks in it. Um, so what you can do with this grid is take a, take a box, say you want it to be 4x4, four four, and project it upwards off the grid, uh, knowing that it's going to be uh, perfectly projected when you do this. And this is how you begin to develop a sense of proportion. So if you know that, uh, that uh, one block is... is uh, say one solid you're drawing is one block on its footprint and another is four blocks or, or two blocks on its footprint, you can uh, accurately project them uh, together 